it, MJ. Come on. I can't let Mary Jane down. She's counting on me. Cut! Cut! Cut, Mary Jane! Come on! No way! Not enough suspense! We'll try this scene again later when you remember how to act. Okay, okay, let's go. Get ready to move to the roof for the next scene, you morons. What do you get paid for anyway? Time for the granddaddy of them all, the skyscraper scene. Special effects team, you're on. Did you hear that, Markham? Get your lazy butt in gear. Hustle, now. I hope your day is going better than mine, Peter. What did you think? Was I as bad as he said? I was kind of late. Sorry. I only saw a few seconds of it, but you were great, MJ. I don't know what his problem was, but believe me, watch out Sharon Stone. You wanted to be in movies your whole life, and now you've got your big break. Don't let some Hollywood jerk rain on your parade. Who is this director anyway? Not a nice guy, I assume. He's Chip Alvarez, a Hollywood up-and-comer. Thinks he can just walk all over people. Not enough suspense. I swear, I don't know what this guy wants. Everyone else seemed to love it. Why is he such a crank? I'm not going to stand back and watch him talk to you like that. Everyone I talked to before the movie began shooting said he was such a nice person. Boy, were they wrong. He's just plain rude. And he doesn't just insult me. He lets everyone have it. You did fine. And it looks like everyone here knows it. You're in the big leagues now, MJ. Shake it off. Pretty soon, I'll be dusting off our mantle to make room for Mr. Oscar. You're a sweetie, Tiger. So what's this movie about? Fatal Action is about insane terrorists on the loose in Manhattan. I'm playing the part of Emma Steele, one of the undercover cops out to stop them. I think I know your character's motivation pretty well. She doesn't wear a red and blue suit and cling to walls, does she? Shh, keep it down. Somebody might hear you. So what's this big scene Alvarez was talking about? You aren't going to be in any danger, are you? The big skyscraper high wire scene is next. It's the most dangerous scene in the movie. But not for me. Just the stuntman who's going to be sliding between two buildings, hundreds of feet above the city. I'm glad you'll be there to see it. Hundreds of feet in the air? That doesn't sound like such a big deal. Not for you, anyway. But for us non-superheroes, it is. Hey, Red, this is the big scene. Hope you're ready, babe. Mr. Alvarez, I just wanted to ask you why you didn't like that last take. Look, don't start this starlet stuff with me, sweetheart. I said it was a no-go, and my word is final. Got it? I was just hoping to learn what... Look, I'm the boss. It's my way or the highway. I've got a file cabinet filled with pictures of sexy redheads. Get my point? Hey, wait a minute. Who's this? Another fan who sneaked on the set? Actually, Mr. Alvarez, this is my biggest fan. This is my husband, Peter Parker. Peter, this is Chip Alvarez, the director. Nice. Don't you know better than to bring a visitor to my set? We're on a tight schedule here. No time for fan chat and autographs. But... But nothing, toots. Look here. I don't know who you think you are, but don't treat my wife like she's your doormat. Capiche? Who do you think you're talking to? I'll have you thrown out on your ear. Try it, hotshot, and you'll be in for a surprise. Are you threatening me? You know you're trespassing, pal. I could have you arrested. But, Mr. Alvarez, I invited Peter to visit the... This is a closed set. No visitors. Got that, Red? Who are you gonna march in here next? Your Aunt Tessie? This isn't a Paramount Studio tour, so scram, hubby. Look, don't you think your crew might respond better to you if you quit insulting them? My crew responds just fine, if they want to get paid, that is. They know I'm the boss. They know they're lucky to be working with me. If I have to kick their butts to keep them sharp, then that makes for a better film. What am I doing explaining myself to you? Get out of here! Or your pretty wife is going to be pounding the pavement on her way to the long, cold unemployment line. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Alvarez, but I'm not much of a movie buff. What movies have you directed? What is this? The Barbara Walters special? And mind your own business. I'm an award-winning director. Don't insult me by asking me to recite my long and extensive resume. Me insult you? Oh, boy. I hope you
you're not the insulting type like your boss. No, uh, I'm not. I wouldn't do that. What did you think of Mary Jane's last scene? She nailed it. Man, she's awesome. I have a feeling she's on her way to the bigs. So why did Nelvarez like it? He must have seen something he didn't like. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. This big stunt sounds pretty dangerous. Everything ready? Anytime you're on top of a skyscraper, it's no picnic. But it looks more dangerous than it really is. There will be a safety net. He couldn't hurt himself even if he tried. And he's done stunts like this at least a dozen times before. So, everything's a go? Hey, I'd like to have a little more time to prepare, but what stunt director wouldn't? The show must go on. Chip knows what he's doing. He's not going to put anyone in unnecessary danger. To the roof, people! Time is money! Come on, Tiger. Walk me to the roof. Boy, this looks pretty dangerous. I hope Alvarez and Markham know what they're doing. I'm glad I'm not the one up there. But you watch. Jonas Daggert will make it look easy. He's one of the best stuntmen in the business. I don't know. It's awfully windy. I have a bad feeling about this. Boy, Markham has a stressful job. Does he have a good reputation in the business? He's the best. That's why Alvarez hired him. He has a perfect record. Never had an accident on location yet. Let's hope there's not a first time for everything. What's with you? Is your spider sense telling you something? Uh, something's just not right. Boy, I wouldn't trust Alvarez with my life. Has he ever directed a scene this dangerous? I don't know. And I'm not going to ask him. With the mood he's in, he'd probably bite my head off. I'm pretty sure that this is the most dangerous scene he's ever directed. That's probably why he's so stressed out and nasty. Oh, I thought that was just because he was a crummy person. So where does your boss get off being so rude? I apologize, uh, on behalf of the production. Chip's not usually like this. In fact, I've worked with him on three movies and I've never seen him behave like this. He's usually a class act. Did you say class or crass? What's his problem? I think it's just stress. Fatal Action is a huge budget picture. It could make or break his career. <laughs> He's lucky I didn't break something else besides his career. He'll come around. You'll see. So what's your backup plan? Jonas shouldn't be in any real danger. He'll be sliding across the wire between the buildings. The wind might rock him, but even if he fell, which he won't, the safety net would catch him. So is that safety net locked into place? It looks like Bud and Lou are still working on it. A few more minutes and it'll be secure. Mr. Alvarez, if you don't mind, I'd like to stay and watch. You don't listen, do you? Look, I don't have any more time to waste on you. Blend into the background and don't get in my way, or I'll have security take you out of here in handcuffs! Hey, it's kind of windy up here. Are you sure this is safe? Of course it is. This wind only enhances the scene. Couldn't ask for better conditions. So what's your plan if something goes wrong? Look, I only have one plan. To nail the shot to make film magic. When you're as good as me, you don't need a backup plan. Is that safety net locked in place? Well, I'm sure it is. That's why I pay Bud and Lou to do... Lock the net in place! If they can't handle that, then they'd have to be as dumb as you. I know everyone on this set is a professional, but I'll feel better when this is over. Doesn't this make you nervous? No way. Just another day at the office. Boy, your office sure has a great view of the city. How many movies have you been in? Uh, about 30 or so. Maybe you remember me going over Niagara Falls and Honeymoon Homicide. I remember that scene. Wow. Nice splash. Thanks. So, do you trust Alvarez? I don't think I'd want my life in his hands. Look, a good stuntman can only trust himself. Believe me, I've done stunts more dangerous than this before. Then you're one brave hombre. Hey, I dove out of a five-story window into a pool full of jello and spring break psycho. 
So, you've done stunts like this before? At least a dozen times. The old scraper slide. This one's easier than most. I'll be connected to the wire and I'll have a safety net under me. It's child's play. And you must have grown up in one tough neighborhood. Either there's a donut sale somewhere or there's big trouble. Action! My spider sense is tingling. Why? Should I follow the police or stay here in case something bad happens on the movie set? Help me! Please! I wasn't hooked to the safety line! Who yelled action? I wasn't ready for the shot yet! The safety net's not ready! I heard you yell action! Help me! We weren't ready yet. What are you doing? Time for a little friendly neighborhood rescue. I, I can't hold on! Spider-Man! Do something! Save him! Oh sure, now you're Mr. Nice Guy. I'm slipping! Hey, what the... What's he doing? Uh, help! I, I can't! Got it. What just happened? Lime, what happened? Find, Find yourself, yourself a bit disoriented, Spider-Man? Mysterio? It's because of you that my career in movies is over. I was the greatest special effects master in the history of film. And don't tell me, your crayons broke. Go ahead and joke, Spider-Man. You won't be laughing when I'm finished with you. In other news, the Sinister Six has struck again. New York had better batten down the hatches because the legendary band of supervillains is back on the scene. When I'm on my feet again, the Sinister Six had better watch out. I'm not going to let them beat me. Help me! Please! I wasn't hooked to the safety line! Who yelled action? I wasn't ready for the shot yet! The safety net's not ready! Thank goodness you're all right. You could have been killed. He got away. I can't believe I let Mysterio escape. What was he doing on that movie set? This so-called hero, Spider-Man, trespassed on my set. The disturbance nearly caused a member of my crew to plunge to his death. That web-spinning scoundrel sat by and did nothing while my stuntman struggled to hang on to the high wire. Believe me, Spider-Man is no hero. He's a disgrace. 
A coward! Lock him up before someone gets killed! The shocker has struck in midtown Manhattan. The New York Central Bank headquarters was just robbed by the notorious supervillain. In a statement, police captain Mulroney has said, The Big Apple is really starting to rot. And it's my fault. I should have followed those police cars. You can't be in two places at the same time, Peter. You had your hands full with Mysterio. Or have you forgotten about that already? Mysterio? And now Shocker. What is there, a bad guy convention in town? Sounds to me like the Sinister Six is back in business. Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Hobgoblin, and Chameleon must be out there too. But after the thrashing I just took from Alvarez on television, I'm almost afraid to show my face in the city. More people might start thinking I'm some kind of crook. Oh, forget about Alvarez. In a few days, the whole incident will be history. Too bad I was never good at history. There's that loudmouth who's running for mayor. I don't like him. This city is sinking further and further into an abyss of lawlessness and crime. Costume villains break the law in broad daylight. Gangs intimidate and threaten the innocent and don't rely on the so-called superheroes like Spider-Man, who actually stand by and in some instances even help criminals take control of the city. I can't believe this. Who's he running against? The mayor or me? Don't listen to that windbag. He's just a newcomer to politics who's trying to make a big splash fast by hopping on the Daily Crisis bandwagon. Everyone will realize that this was just a big mistake. I better do something fast or the cops are going to be chasing me instead of the real bad guys. Well then, I guess you better get back to work. Those police cars stopped here. What's going on, Captain Mulroney? Spider-Man, I'm glad to see you. The shock is inside the bank and he's taking at least 20 people hostage. He says unless we let him go with three million dollars, he's gonna start killing them one by one. I don't want to rush him with those hostages inside. Can you get in there and stop Shocker? Well... That'll be Shocker on my cell phone. Put him on the speaker. Well, Captain, will I be walking out of here with the money? Or shall I kill my first hostage? Hey, Shocker, do you think just because banks have branches, money grows on trees? It's not that easy, pal. Spider-Man, I should have known you would show up. That's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to you, pal. Well, I hope you're prepared for a shock, old buddy, because guess what? You'll never get away with this. Today is my lucky day. I strike it rich and I get to watch you die, Spider-Man. I'm shocked by your threat, but I beg to differ. We have to act fast. When he calls again, try to distract him. Keep him talking. Just ask him how much he hates me. That'll take a couple of hours at least. How did Shocker get inside the bank? Wouldn't surveillance and security have recognized him and triggered the alarms? I mean, Shocker doesn't look like your average customer making a deposit. I don't know how he got in, but there he is. And we gotta get those hostages out of there, Spider-Man. Are there any other villains in there with Shocker? I don't think so, but I can't be certain. He could have an army in there, for all we know. Can you stop Shocker, Spider-Man? Ah, the city's finest. In total control, as usual. Have any of the hostages been hurt? As far as we can tell, no. Everyone seems okay. Can you get them out of there safely? Hostage situations are tricky business. I'll do my best, Captain. Is there another way into that building? There's an entrance on the side alley, but Shaka is some kind of seismic energy barrier blocking it. A barrier? Maybe I should have a look back there. So let's just imagine that I took the day off and hadn't stopped by. What were you planning to do about this? The hostage negotiation team's on the way, but they don't have much experience with supervillains. If it means letting them go in order to protect those hostages, that's what I'll do. What does the mayor have to say about this? We haven't been able to get in touch with him. He's out campaigning. That Bob Mason is starting to climb in the polls. The mayor's worried about losing his job. Not a bank robbery that the police are expected to handle. I'll try to distract Shaka over the phone while you try to get in there. Remember, the safety of the hostages is our top priority. I'm counting on you, Spider-Man. Hmm, Shocker's powers don't usually work this way. He must have rigged up some kind of machine to create that seismic barrier that's blocking the door. I better have a look around. Bingo! Let's see... This must be the device that Shocker is using to create the barrier. Sorry, Shocky, I found the pot of gold. But there's no on-off switch. Looks like I have to destroy this thing. 
Let's see. Hey, there's a control panel on this thing. What's this? A grid with numbers. It looks like these numbers correspond to the grid, but how? I can fill in blocks on the grid. The numbers on the grid must be clues to which blocks I need to fill. Intruder defense parameters activated. What a day. What else can go wrong? I have to shut down this device or I get quaked. Shockers check. Hey, what the? I'm in front of the bank. How did I get here? Great working with you, wall crawler. Thanks to you, I'm an instant millionaire. He got away. You let Shocker escape with the cash. How did you let him waltz out of there with all that money? I, uh, I don't, uh... You don't what? You don't tell the truth. Is that what you were going to say? I can't believe I used to think you were a hero. You had everyone fooled, didn't you? No, you don't understand. I, I... There's that loudmouth who's running for mayor. I don't like him. This city is sinking further and further into an abyss of lawlessness and crime. Costume villains break the law in broad daylight. Gangs intimidate and threaten the innocent and don't rely on the so-called superheroes like Spider-Man, who actually stand by and in some instances even help criminals take control of this city. I can't believe this. Who's he running against? The mayor or me? Don't listen to that windbag. He's just a newcomer to politics who's trying to make a big splash fast by hopping on the Daily Crisis bandwagon. Everyone will realize that this was just a big mistake. I better do something faster. The cops are going to be chasing me instead of the real bad guys. Well then, I guess you better get back to work. you idiots doing? I told you I wanted more speed! That was about as exciting as watching a blade of grass grow. I don't care if you have to put an Indy 500 engine in that bus. Do you hear me? Are you deaf? What do I have to do to get good help these days? Keep it up, losers, and I'll send you all packing! Parker! What are you doing here? We're getting ready to shoot a scene. Your wife's on the bus! If you're here to wish her luck, do it fast and then get lost! So is Alvarez still the world's biggest pain in the butt? He was the last time I talked to him. He seems to get nastier as this movie goes on. I don't know what it takes to put a smile on his face. Probably a hearty bowl full of movie awards and money with a nice cherry on top. You're not going to be in any danger in this scene, are you? I may get a bruise or two, but we've rehearsed it at least a dozen times. I'll be okay. Well, I'll be right here to make sure of that. So what's this big scene about? It's late at night, and I'm the only passenger on the bus. The terrorist leader is going to try to kill me when I get off at my stop. The bus driver tries to fight him off, but the terrorist blasts him. I manage to fight him off and escape, but just barely. By the end of the movie, though, I do him in. Don't tell me. When he sees your gorgeous face, he has a heart attack and keels over. Flattery will get you everywhere. Hey, I don't know if I can stand watching someone attack you, even if it's just an act. Don't worry, Tiger. I can hold my own. Besides... The good women always win. So what special effects are you rigging up for this scene? The big one is when the bus driver gets shot. The fake blood will spurt with a specially designed squib that I just came up with. It'll be pretty gruesome, man. A squib is a fake blood packet that explodes by triggering an electronic charge, right? Sure is. See? You know something about the movies. And for all these years, I thought they just used bulletproof actors. <laughs> no, afraid not. So where did you learn your trade? I'm self-taught. I've been filling my notebook over there with tricks of the trade since I got started. Wow, aren't you afraid someone might steal your secrets? Not really. I code everything, so I'm the only one who could make heads or tails out of my notes. I heard you won an Academy Award for makeup. I'm proud to say I did. 
Makeup is one of my specialties. I don't mean to brag, but I do think I'm one of the best makeup artists in the business. So did you come up with all of your makeup effects on your own? Yeah, but it took years of trial and error. That notebook over there is full of my secrets. But don't even bother looking at it. It's coded, so only I can read it. Can't give away hard-earned trade secrets. But maybe someday I'll give you a little demonstration. I can't right now. I have to go to a finance meeting with Chip as soon as this scene's in the can. All right, people! Quiet on the set! Be still! Roll camera! Ready! And... Action! My new partner and I are here to audition. We heard you needed terrorists, and we're naturals for the part. Who's that imposter? He doesn't even move like me. Explosives are rigged to the bottom of that bus. When the gas tank falls below a quarter of a tank, an electric charge will trigger a detonator wired to the bus's ignition. When it explodes, it will destroy this set and everyone on the bus. Don't try turning the key off, because that will trigger the bomb as well. Thanks to Spider-Man, no one can escape the bus. This is a warning to all those who oppose the Sinister Six. Keep the cameras rolling, ladies and gentlemen. This will be an explosion that will make film history. Farewell. All right, calm down. What can I do? Look around. Come on, you don't have much time. What can I do? I'm just a photographer with a chemistry background. How do I save MJ? Use your head, Parker. You don't have forever. The fingernail polish. Rubbing alcohol. Spot remover. Rubbing alcohol. Glass cleaner. Spray paint. Turpentine. The fingernail polish. The hairspray. Hey, it worked! Clear out the bus! It's gonna blow! You don't need a costume to be my hero, Tiger. You saved us. That was too close for comfort. This has to stop. Now! Spider-Man broke onto my set and nearly killed members of my cast and crew. I want his webbed head on a platter! Why can't the police catch him? Are they having their annual picnic or what? Is the mayor on vacation? When will this web-slinging wacko be stopped? I was right when I said that Spider-Man had turned bad. Everyone said, Oh no, not Spider-Man, he's a hero! Well now the public has its proof! We all saw it! Spider-Man and Vulture were working together! That guy's a lunatic! Did you see that? He really wants to do me in and he's never even met me. I mean, he's never even met Spider-Man. Why does he have it out for me so bad? Don't feel bad. He hates everyone. I think I'm going to have to learn a little bit more about good old Chippy. There's something going on with him and I'm going to find out what it is. But maybe I should focus on tracking down that spider tracer signal. Vulture should be around here somewhere. The tracer led me here. Trick or treat! Not who you were looking for, am I?
out of candy hobby. My friend isn't. Look who I found. Where there's a spider tracer, there's bound to be a spider. One that I can step on. Vulture's got a laser. I'll have to rely on my spider sense to warn me of where it will strike. more ammo, Spider-Man. Until then, watch your back. If I see you again, Vulture, you can expect to be grounded. And I will not rest until Spider-Man is behind bars. That will be my top priority when I win this election. And once the streets are safe from this ex-hero, I can turn my attention to the city's economy. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back to take your live call-in questions. This is the NCB Evening Edition live at Channel 2 Studios. Stay tuned. I have half a mind to go to that studio with Spider-Man and appear on television. I have to clear my name before I'm finished. I need to tell my side of the story, and live television seems like a good place to do it. Calm down, Peter. You know it will only fuel the fire. Besides, we're going to Chip Alvarez's party. Or did you forget? Yeah. It's at the top of the World Club, remember? I almost forgot about that. I have a few questions for Chip. But the timing seems right for a television appearance. Come on. You need the break. The party will be fun. We can dance the night away. Time for me to find out why Chip Alvarez hates me so much. 
His office is inside this building. Uh-oh, looks like a heavy-duty alarm system. Gotta find a way to turn it off. Spray paint. Rust remover. Can't see the names on the panel. Too much corrosion. That's better, but I still can't see what's written there. It's worn away, but I do see some scratches on the metal. Paper. Pencil. This pencil rubbing will show me what these circuit breakers do. Alright, now I have to find Alvarez's office. Wing A, S, G, Wing B, C, A. What does that mean? Hmm, looks like I need to enter a code into the electronic lock. Got it! It's open! Chip, everyone in Hollywood knows about your kindness and your generosity as much as they know about your film credentials. What's it like being held in such high esteem by your peers? It's very flattering, but I don't consider myself special. I show enormous respect to everyone I work with, and I ask for the same respect in return. You enjoy working with actors, don't you? More than anything. I like to give them and the crew praise when it's deserved, and encouragement and advice when the situation calls for it. I detest my Hollywood counterparts who believe it's their responsibility as directors to humiliate and demean actors who are new to the profession. Tell me about your party. You're noted for throwing cast and crew parties at your own expense. That's not something you see every day in the movie business. I enjoy showing my appreciation for hard work. My parties are quite fun, I do admit. I'm always the first one there to greet my guests and the last person to leave. Some people call it networking. I just like to do it. It helps the entire creative process. Thank you, Chip. You are truly deserving of this award. Thank you. Talk about a split personality. This isn't the Alvarez I know. I don't know what secrets you're hiding, Chip, but believe me, I'll find out. And I will not rest until Spider-Man is behind bars. That will be my top priority when I win this election. And once the streets are safe from this ex-hero, I can turn my attention to the city's economy. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back to take your live call-in questions. This is the NCB Evening Edition live at Channel 2 Studios. Stay tuned. I have half a mind to go to that studio with Spider-Man and appear on television. I have to clear my name before I'm finished. I need to tell my side of the story, and live television seems like a good place to do it. Calm down, Peter. You know it will only fuel the fire. Besides, we're going to Chip Alvarez's party. Or did you forget? Yeah. It's at the top of the World Club, remember? I almost forgot about that. I have a few questions for Chip, but the timing seems right for a television appearance. Come on. You need the break. The party will be fun. We can dance the night away. So where's the happy host? He just called me a few minutes ago from his cell phone. He got tied up in a late meeting, but he promised he'd be here later. <laughs> then I better hurry and get all my fun in now. I hope Alvarez took his happy pill today. I thought you said he would come around. I hear you. I'm getting pretty fed up with him, too. It's like he has a split personality. And I can't stand either one of them. Chip usually has a heart of gold. Yeah, yellow, hard, and heavy. My advice is to stay out of his way. He's going to have to stay out of the way of my fist if he keeps it up. Just let it roll off, or he'll make it rough for Mary Jane.
Shooting the movie sure hasn't been a picnic, has it? No, it hasn't. After the last few disturbances, I was afraid the whole picture might get canned. Boy, I hope that doesn't happen. This could be Mary Jane's big break. And it's a big feather in my cap, too. Hopefully that's the last we'll see of the Sinister Six. Or should I say Sinister Seven, now that Spider-Man has joined them. You don't think Spider-Man has really joined the Sinister Six, do you? Hey, I saw him with my own two eyes. But he was set up. He hasn't gone bad. I'm sure of it. Darn shame if you ask me. I've been a big fan of Spider-Man since day one. But he's nearly ruined our movie, not to mention almost killed some of our crew. Frankly, I hope they catch him and put him away. Come on, Al, you're in the movie business. You know that fantasy can be made to look like reality. People change all the time, Peter. Spider-Man probably just got fed up with bailing unappreciative people out of jams. Now he's in it for power and money. You're wrong. You wait and see. If you're right, I'll buy you dinner. If I'm right, you'll apologize to Spider-Man. You got a deal. Excuse me, but are you Peter Parker? Yes. I was instructed by one of the guests to deliver this note to you. Which guest gave it to you? I'm sorry, sir, but I don't see the gentleman now. Perhaps he left. An encrypted note. Find Smerdyakov or your wife dies? Smerdyakov? That's Chameleon's real name. Why would he threaten Mary Jane? I'd better find him. But how? Mr. Smerdyakov, seated at table three. All right, Chameleon, time to see what you have up your sleeve. Are you sitting at table three? I believe I am. Having a good time, Mr. Smerdyakov? Ah, Mr. Parker, I see you found me. Would you like to retire to the balcony for some fresh air? We can talk in private there. What's this all about? Join me outside and I'll explain all. There, that's, that's better. better. I'm always more relaxed when I change into something more comfortable. What do you want with me? Rest assured that it's not you we're after, Mr. Parker. Tell me, are you familiar with Spider-Man? I photographed him, but I don't know him. I beg to differ. I believe you know him. Know him well. And you are going to lead him to us. Who's us? You know very well that I am affiliated with the group the media has chosen to call the Sinister Six. Playing dumb will only anger me. And when I become angry, I'm most unreasonable. You don't scare me, Chameleon. The Sinister Six can be beaten. I just heard from one of the party guests that Daredevil captured Hobgoblin when he attacked Channel 2 Studios. Apparently, he was trying to kill Bob Mason. What do you want with Spider-Man? Let's just say we have an old score to settle. You will help us. Or else your lovely wife, Mary Jane, will pay the consequences.
Leave my wife out of this. Calm down, Mr. Parker. And remember, whether Mary Jane lives or dies is entirely up to you. What do you want me to do? All I'm asking you to do is this. Deliver a message to your agile friend. You will tell Spider-Man to meet you at the V-Motion Virtual Reality Headquarters. Hint that you've uncovered something that he should see. Be vague, but capture his attention. Hook him like a fish. Rest assured that I will know what you tell him. No games, Parker. No tricks. You will cooperate, or your wife will meet with an unfortunate accident. Alright, I'll tell Spider-Man, but you'd better assure me that you'll leave Mary Jane alone. I knew you were an intelligent man. You have my word. Be quick about your task. Remember, I know all. Betray me, and you might be looking at this one day very soon. No! Leave her alone! I swear, if you touch her... V-Motion Virtual Reality? It must be new. Why would the Sinister Six be involved in virtual reality? I thought VR was only used in games at the mall arcades. What does Dr. Octopus have up his sleeve this time? This factory is deserted. It looks like there's a business here, but they haven't hired employees yet. And I will not rest until Spider-Man is behind bars. And I say again that my message is simple. I will rid the streets of costume bandits like Spider-Man and see to it that they are apprehended and locked away. My real opponent is not the mayor. My real opponent is Spider-Man, for he represents what is wrong with New York, what is wrong with society itself. Thank you, Mr. Mason. We'll be back after these messages to take live call-in questions. I'm from the ratings board. This show has been canceled. Boy, I should let Mason get his. But even though he's trash me, I can't let Hobgoblin attack him. side of the law, remember? The rest of your partners would like to see you at the V-Motion Virtual Reality Factory. You better get back there and give them the bad news about my arrest. You're crazy. Are you alright, Mr. Mason? Get away from me! Call the police! He tried to kill me! Wait a minute, I tried to save you. 
No! Spider-Man and I were working together, then he turned on me. He wanted the glory of killing Mason for himself. Spider-Man, you traitor! So, you were trying to kill me, cold-blooded murderer. You're worse than I thought you were. You see, New York, I was telling the truth about this spider villain. You know, you have a mob with a convenience store open day and night. I tried to save your life, even though you've been blasting me all over the city every chance you get. Get the police in here now! We'll never have a better chance to capture this elusive villain. When I'm mayor, I'll make an example out of you. You'll never see the light of day when I'm elected to office. Face it, Mason, you're lying to the public. If you become mayor, you'll spend half your time passing bogus laws, and the other half helping your special interests get around them. How dare you question my credibility? I'd love to engage in a formal debate, but I have criminals to catch. Don't believe everything you hear and see, New Yorkers, or your lives will be controlled by guys like Mason. Get back here. I'm not finished giving you a piece of my mind. Be careful, Mason. You don't have much to give away. Across the city, New Yorkers have been asking if Spider-Man is a hero or a villain. After Spider-Man's actions today on my show, it's clear to see that New York has cause for grave concern. That's it. Enough is enough. Time for me to visit this V-Motion virtual reality factory. It's probably a trap, but I don't care. If I don't end this soon, my career as a crime fighter will be over. V-Motion Virtual Reality? It must be new. Why would the Sinister Six be involved in virtual reality? I thought VR was only used in games at the mall arcades. What does Dr. Octopus have up his sleeve this time? This factory is deserted. It looks like there's a business here, but they haven't hired employees yet. Wait a minute. There's an intercom system. Let's see if the Sinister Six is here. I want to be the one to kill Spider-Man. It's only fair. Silence. I'm in charge. We've all suffered at the hands of Spider-Man, but my plan is working. We've confused the public and tainted Spider-Man's reputation. Now, it's time to finish him. The top floor warehouse. Hope Doc Ock and the boys are ready for a little visit. Trespassing on private property is a crime punishable by death, Spider-Man. Hey, I'm supposed to be the one with the jokes. I thought your only joke was your bad suit. Octopus, he's gone. Ah. 
At last, you've fallen into our trap. Now we have you exactly where we want you. Good to see you too, Doc Ock. Welcome to our party, Spider-Man. This is certainly a day to celebrate. We've planned your defeat for a very long time. Too long. Now, I can fully enjoy your humiliation. You know, you need to get a real hobby, Ock. Did you ever think of collecting stamps? You are my hobby, Spider-Man. Destroying you has become my life's work. And today, my destiny will be fulfilled. Lighten up, big guy. You've got a lot of good years left. You're too young to retire. Retire? <laughs> I'm just getting started. The first part of my plan was to destroy you. The next phase of my master plot can now begin. Too bad you'll only hear about its fruition in prison. Prison? I thought you bad guys just wanted to kill us good guys. Killing you would be too easy. It wouldn't quench my thirst for revenge. Rather than kill you, I want you to live a long, tortured life full of misery and regret. And I want you to know that the Sinister Six did it to you. And how do you plan to make me miserable? Move in with me? Tell me, Spider-Man, what do you treasure most? Oh, I don't know. Probably my rugged good looks and charming wit. <laughs> Funny. Oh, I do admit I will miss your sense of humor. But you're wrong. The thing you treasure most is your silly reputation as a hero. Rather than just take your life, I decided to take away the things you crave. Your self-respect, the affection and high regard of the public. I know you better than you think. Gee, and you're not even on my Christmas card list. Keep joking, Spider-Man. You know I speak the truth. Soon, you will be the most feared criminal in New York. You are finished. I will control the city and the world, and you will be powerless to stop me. Do you enjoy being hated and feared? How does it feel to be despised as we are despised? Wait a minute. I think you have me confused with OJ. Your humor is all you'll have to entertain you in prison. Now you'll have to excuse us. We're off to wreak havoc on the movie set. I wish you could join us, but it's time for your nap. Good night, Spider-Man. Sweet dreams. <laughs> the movie set? I have to get to MJ. I have to find a way to stop the sleeping gas from pouring out of that vent. Mm, an exhaust fan. My only hope is to shoot out the circuits so that all the vents behind the fan will open and the gas can escape. <coughs> and all points... I have... No?
was close. A minute more and I would have been out by the light. Time to get out of here. The door's locked, and that looks like the lock controls. Hmm, looks like someone left me a clue. What's this notebook page doing next to this control panel? Open sesame! I'm out of here! That notebook was a clue left to help me get out of the room. But who left it for me and why? I have to get back to the movie set before the Sinister Six strike. Mary Jane could be in danger. My God, you're back! Roll the cameras. This is Tris Tilby. Spider-Man has returned to the scene of the kidnapping. Why are you back, Spider-Man? Do you plan to kidnap others? Look, you have it all wrong. I didn't kidnap anyone. There were eyewitnesses to the kidnapping. I was framed by the Sinister Six. One of them is disguising himself as me. It has to be Chameleon, or maybe Mysterio. I saw the kidnapping myself, and it was you. But why? Where are you holding Mason and Alvarez? Are you demanding a ransom? No, listen to me, I'm innocent. The Sinister Six are trying to frame me. They tried to knock me out with sleeping gas at the V-Motion Virtual Reality Factory. Look into it, you'll see I'm telling the truth. Or you're trying to throw off the press with false leads. Eyewitnesses don't lie, Spider-Man. We've seen the proof. This is insane. There he is. Get him, freeze. Spider-Man, you're under arrest. Opens. My... I was the sinister. There he is. Peter, don't risk being Spider Man again until you can prove your innocence. You just missed all the excitement. Spider-Man kidnapped Chip Alvarez and Bob Mason. So what do you plan to do now, Chief? I've got the entire police force on this case. The next time Spider-Man shows his face, we'll be ready for him. Kidnapping is a serious felony. There's a citywide all-points bulletin out for him. Are you sure Spider-Man did it? I mean, it could have been someone impersonating him. I'm sure it was him. I spoke with all the eyewitnesses. Everyone knows Spider-Man has gone bad over the last few weeks. There's no doubt he's the kidnapper. But how can you be sure? Hey, I've been a cop for 25 years. I think I know when I have my suspect. I guess that's why there are six criminal lunatics on the loose. What was that? Forget it. So how many witnesses were there? The entire crew saw Spider-Man kidnap them. This will be an open and shut case when we catch that wall crawler. There will be more witnesses in that courtroom than fans at a Yankee game. Were there any other villains with Spider-Man? No, he acted alone. I always did peg him for a loner. Are there any surveillance cameras on the set? There is one, but it wouldn't tell us anything we haven't already learned from eyewitnesses. But the camera might help prove Spider-Man is innocent. The camera will just confirm what we already know. So what's it hurt to look at it? Spider-Man knocked the entire surveillance system offline right before the kidnapping. I suppose we'd have to look at the surveillance control to see if there's any footage that's still usable. Well, let me take a look at it. I'm pretty good with cameras.
Mysterio's powers are all illusions. They won't show up on video. Let's hope he didn't know about this hidden camera. It looks like I have to rearrange these wires so they create a pattern. Hey, it seems to be working again. Look, right there. It's Mysterio. His powers of illusion don't show up on video. That's why he destroyed the camera. But he was sloppy, and we have evidence that it was Mysterio using his illusion powers to look like Spider-Man. Spider-Man really was set up. That means he must be innocent of those other crimes he's accused of. Too bad there's no video evidence to prove him innocent of those as well. Well, at least I've started to clear my name, but there's still more to do. Time to return to V-Motion to end this once and for all. Bob Mason, we meet again. Even though you hate my guts, Mason, I'm going to rescue you. See, I'm not so bad. Shh, listen, if they hear me, they'll kill me. Listen to me. The whole kidnapping has been faked so that it can be pinned on you. What? Dr. Octopus is out to destroy you. He's forcing me to run for office so that he can secretly control the city. Octopus has threatened my family if I didn't go along with his plan. There's no more time to explain. The Sinister Six is on the other side of that door, ready to pounce on you and take you in as a fugitive for kidnapping me. Help me, Spider-Man, and I'll help you. All you have to do is press that big red button over there on the control panel and the door will lock, trapping the Sinister Six inside. If we can get out of here, I'll do everything in my power to clear your name. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll give you one more chance to surrender. Spider-Man, murderer. That's the shocking story that has stunned New York and the world at large. After a murderous rampage, Spider-Man has taken the lives of movie director Chip Alvarez, mayoral candidate Bob Mason, as well as Mason's wife and two children. Police Chief Moroni has ordered the largest manhunt in New York history. My career as Spider-Man is over. The damage is too great. I can't redeem myself. Nothing is over. Give yourself time and you'll clear your name. Dr. Octopus and the Sinister Six have beaten me. If only I would have believed Mason and made the right decision, those people would be alive. You did what you thought was right. It wasn't your fault. It's just like Uncle Ben all over again. A bad decision on my part leads to death. Mason tried to tell me, but I, I wouldn't listen. Let it go, Peter, or the guilt will destroy you. Let your pain motivate you to go after them, to restore your name. Don't let them beat you. Decisions are never easy. You did what you thought was right. You didn't kill those people. The Sinister Six did. Go after them. For the sake of those victims. For your own sake. You're right. This isn't over yet.
even though you You may have defeated the muscle, but you haven't beaten the brains behind the Sinister Six. Well, you're the last bowling pin standing, Doc. Thanks to Mason, the rest of your gang is taking a nap. You know, instead of the Sinister Six, you should call yourselves the Six Stooges. You can almost pass for Mo with that bad haircut. Mason! You traitor! You've ruined everything by betraying me! And you, Spider-Man, you infernal pest! Again you've ruined me and destroyed my plans! It was all within my grasp, destroying your reputation, launching my virtual reality technology, subliminally controlling the minds of the public, and controlling City Hall! Whoa, big guy, slow down. You just lost me. You've got big plans, even for a guy with eight arms. How about starting from the top? What's this factory all about? If you're involved, it can't be just fun and games. To the average person, the V64 is a cutting-edge video game machine. But I have seen to it that the hardware and software can do more than just entertain. I created powerful subliminal programming that can implant messages into the minds of the users. It would have been a phenomena! So you're out to warp the minds of children? That's sick, even for you, Ock. The technology I created knows no boundaries. It appeals to everyone. Young, old, male, female, everyone! Why were you threatening Mason? Since when did you take up politics, Doc? Trying to take over the world not enough for you? Mason was my hand-picked candidate for mayor. My involvement in the election was not just about political power. It was also about destroying you. Mason was able to rouse the public. He persuaded them that you were a villain. He was on his way to victory. I would have held the strings of power had you not interfered. Tell me about Alvarez, Doc. <laughs> Insect fool! Chameleon has been impersonating Chip Alvarez since we kidnapped him. But why kidnap Alvarez? To draw you in so that I could more easily destroy you. We were able to lure you into our trap through your associates, Peter Parker and his lovely wife. Why stage the kidnappings on the movie set? I don't get it. I had planned to pin that crime on you. The sleeping gas was meant to render you unconscious until the police found you and charged you with kidnapping and attempted murder. Rather than simply kill you, I would let you live a long, desperate, pathetic life behind bars. Did you say attempted murder? Since the real Alvarez was the only witness who knew the truth, I decided to destroy his mind. Mason would testify that you kidnapped and terrorized him. He'll swear under oath that he watched you destroy Alvarez's mind, leaving him nothing but a hollow shell. With the publicity from the story, Bob Mason would be a shoo-in to win the election. But Shocker had to betray me, leaving you that note in the sleeping gas chamber. That traitor! I'll take care of him. So Shocker left that note. Where are you holding Alvarez? You're facing quite a dilemma, Spider-Man. Chip Alvarez is connected to a specially designed V-64 unit that will completely destroy his mind. He'll be a walking zombie, a vegetable. If you try to save him, I will escape. If you try to stop me, Alvarez will be reduced to a babbling idiot for life. So what will it be, Spider-Man? Are you going to fight me or save Alvarez's life? I can't free him. He's locked to the V-64 unit, and I can't turn the machine off. I'll have to enter the virtual reality environment to try to free him. Why do I have a bad feeling that Octavius has a few surprises waiting for me? I guess I can expect anything in virtual reality.
being pulled into virtual reality forever. being pulled into did it, Spider-Man. You saved him. Thank you for saving me from the Sinister Six, Spider-Man. I've always wanted to meet you. I'm a big fan. And so Spider-Man has saved the day. The Sinister Six's virtual reality scheme has been cracked. Movie director Chip Alvarez has been rescued. Spider-Man has apprehended Mysterio, Hobgoblin, Vulture, Shocker, and Chameleon with the help of Bob Mason, who it turns out was being manipulated by the Sinister Six in his run for office. Before dropping out of the election, Mason pledged to help authorities capture Dr. Octopus, who is still at large. I can't believe Dr. Octopus escaped. I shouldn't have let that happen. Well, you had no choice. You had to save Alvarez's life, and you stopped Octopus's scheme. You'll catch up with Doc Ock again. I'm not going to rest until Dr. Octopus is behind bars. You need to focus your attention on something else. Like me.
Dr. Octopus's program has destroyed Alvarez's mind. No! There has to be a way! He's gone. It's not your fault. I should have let Dr. Octopus go. If I had, I could have saved Alvarez. And Dr. Octopus could have killed many more innocent people if you hadn't apprehended him. He might have killed my family. You did the right thing. Oh, if I did the right thing, how come it feels so wrong? My decision has cost a man his life. Alvarez is still alive. Maybe his mind can be restored. If Octopus had succeeded, he would have destroyed countless lives. It's not the first time this has happened. One time, one of my bad decisions led to someone's death. Someone I loved. Spider-Man, decisions are never easy. Look at me. I had to make a decision. Serve Dr. Octopus or risk the lives of my wife and children. You've had to make some tough choices, maybe the toughest ones of your life. You had to decide whether to trust me. That wasn't easy. But you stopped Dr. Octopus. What happened to Alvarez wasn't your fault. You're right. Decisions aren't easy. Let's get these guys back to jail where they belong. Let me get to the press so I can tell the whole story. Shocker, I would have expected you to try to quake me by now. Are you taking the day off or what? I'm here to talk business. I want to leave the Sinister Six. I'll help you defeat them if you let me go free when this is over. You have to be kidding. Villain turns good? That plotline has been around since the old days. Why would you want to leave the Sinister Six after all these years? Because I'm fed up with Dr. Octopus. He ordered me to rob New York Central Bank, so I did it. But a little while ago, I overheard Octopus talking to Mysterio. They're planning to turn me in for the robbery. I don't know what they have planned, but obviously they want to use me as a scapegoat. This isn't just about ruining you. It's much deeper than that, and I'm not taking the fall. So what's this factory about? With the Sinister Six involved, it can't be just fun and games. To the average person, the V64 virtual reality gaming units this factory is producing look like cutting-edge video games. But Dr. Octopus has seen to it that the hardware and software can do more than just entertain gamers. Dr. Octopus has used all of his scientific and computer expertise to create powerful, subliminal programming that can implant messages into the minds of users. Prolonged exposure to the simulations can hypnotize users into acting out pre-programmed commands from Dr. Octopus. The results will be deadly. If this technology catches on like everyone expects it to, most of the nation can fall into the grasp of Dr. Octopus. So Octopus is out to warp the minds of children? These simulations and games are not just for children. The software for the V64 that V-Motion is producing will appeal to a wide audience. There will be simulations for practically everyone, young and old alike. Where's Doc Ock? He's in his lab. I'm the only one who can help you get there. Where are Mason and Alvarez being held? I don't know. Octopus is keeping that a secret, even from us. And don't fall for that Mason and Alvarez bit. Mason is working with the Sinister Six, and Chameleon has been impersonating Chip Alvarez. What? You heard me. Mason is nothing more than one of Dr. Octopus' puppets. And Chameleon has been impersonating Chip Alvarez since we kidnapped him over a month ago. Well, that explains Chip's big personality change. 
but why the kidnapping bit back at the movie studio? The good doctor planned to pin that on you. The sleeping gas was meant to knock you out until the police could get here to arrest you for kidnapping and attempted murder. Attempted murder? Since the real Alvarez was the only witness who could blow the whistle on his scheme, Dr. Octopus decided to scramble his brain, erase his memories, and blame it on you. Mason would corroborate the story and testify that you kidnapped and terrorized him. He'd say that he witnessed you destroy Alvarez's mind, leaving the poor man nothing but a drooling idiot. With the publicity from the story, Bob Mason would be a shoo-in to win the election. Now I've heard it all. Luckily, you found my note in the sleeping gas room. So, it was you who left that note? Yeah, that's when I made my decision to get away from the Six. All right, I'll trust you. But if you're lying, you'll get an all-expense-paid vacation to the vault. There's two doors over there. Either one should lead you to Dr. Octopus' private office. You go after him and the rest of the six. I have a feeling I know where Alvarez is being held. I'll check it out, and I'll free him if I get a chance. Milk duds at the matinee. Not the last joke you'll ever crack, Spider Man. This would make a great movie, don't you think? Shocker! Look, I've defeated Vulture. Only Octopus is left. There's Alvarez. Get him out of here. I'm going to look for Ock. Lights! Camera! Action! Chameleon! <laughs> you fell into my trap, Spider-Man. I told Octavius it would work. Where's Alvarez? He's locked away inside the factory in the same place he's been for over a month. No wonder no one could stand Chip Alvarez. He was you! I rather enjoyed impersonating him since the kidnapping. The plan worked perfectly. We were able to lure you into our trap through your friend Peter and his actress wife. So it was you on the movie set all along? Indeed it was. My disguise fooled everyone. I even disguised myself as you and got away with it. I'm not Mysterio, but I may just have a future in Hollywood. I can see your future. It's becoming clear. No movies, no Hollywood. I see a putty-faced coward wearing a shirt. It has stripes. 
and numbers. I see bars. And at least I have a future to see, Spider-Man. Unlike you. Your time is up. Space, time to get you back home to jail. Boy, it's foggy up here. I can barely see a thing. Luckily, I can see like a hawk.
welcome to the party, big bird. How about a glass of punch? I'd make a great golfer. I sank another birdie. Shocker! Look, I defeated Mysterio. Only Octopus is left. Now look for Ock. Don't forget the chameleon, Shocky. He's next! Lights! Lights. Camera! Camera. Action. Action! Chameleon! <laughs> you fell into my trap, Spider-Man. Excuse me, is there a doctor in the house? Sorry to break up the victory party, but it looks like your plot to destroy me and take over the world has flopped. Infernal pest! You've ruined me! You've destroyed my plans! It was all within my grasp. Destroying your reputation, launching my virtual reality technology, subliminally controlling the minds of the public, controlling City Hall! Wow, you're a busy guy, Ock. Too much work can really stress you out. Luckily, you'll be able to relax for about the next 50 years in the comfort of a maximum security prison. Never! I've heard a lot of politicians are crooks, but this is ridiculous. What's Mason have to do with all this? Mason was my hand-picked candidate for mayor. My involvement in the election was not just about political power. It was also about destroying you. Mason was able to rouse the public. He persuaded them that you were a villain. He was on his way to victory. I would have had my hands on the strings of power had you not interfered. Maybe Mason can give you a little lesson on leadership. Your troops are turncoats. Shocker helped me find you. Shocker? That traitor? I'll take care of him after I'm done with you. That's going to be a little hard to do from a crowded prison cell. Well, you're the last bowling pin standing, Doc. I've already finished off the rest of your gang. You know, instead of the Sinister Six, you should call yourselves the Six Stooges. You could pass for Mo with that bad haircut. I don't need a team to destroy you. Well, you sure need something. I'll take care of you myself. Maybe if I fight with one hand webbed behind my back, Hanging out with a bad crowd, huh, Mason? What are you doing with Dr. Octopus? I do what Dr. Octopus tells me. I'm going to be the next mayor of New York because of him. I think your polls have just taken a nosedive. Then maybe you can run for president of your cell block. How long have you been involved with Dr. Octopus? Dr. Octopus has looked out for me for years. I owe him my career, my life. He made me everything I am today. Then he owes you a big apology. Are you doing this because Dr. Octopus and the Sinister Six have threatened you? You must be joking! I did this because I could be mayor of New York! I was Dr. Octopus's hand-picked candidate! I'm on my way to power lunches, limo rides, people calling me Sir and Mr. Mayor! I'll be dishing out my power like it's ice cream! Hello? We're on Earth, Bob. What planet do you come from? Where are you holding Alvarez? You're facing quite a dilemma, Spider-Man. Chip Alvarez is connected to a specially designed V-64 unit that will completely destroy his mind. He'll be a walking zombie, a vegetable. If you try to save him, I will escape. If you try to stop me, Alvarez will be reduced to a babbling idiot for life. So what will it be, Spider-Man? Are you going to fight me or save Alvarez's life? What's going on? Is Alvarez all right? I can't free Alvarez. He's locked to this virtual reality unit. And I can't turn the machine off. It's rigged. Dr. Octopus is destroying his mind. We have to hurry or Alvarez's brain will be fried. You know these V-64 units better than I do. What should I do? Don't look at me, Spider-Man. I don't know how to work this thing. That was Ock and Mysterio's job. Should I enter the virtual reality environment? Makes sense to me. I'd be on my toes if I were you. I'm sure Octopus has something dangerous waiting. And so, Spider-Man has saved the day. The Sinister Six's virtual reality scheme has been cracked. 
Movie director Chip Alvarez has been rescued. Spider-Man has apprehended Mysterio, Hobgoblin, Vulture, and Chameleon, and has exposed Bob Mason as a fraud. However, Mason and Dr. Octopus have escaped and are still at large. I can't believe Mason and Octopus escaped. I shouldn't have let that happen. Well, you had no choice. You had to save Alvarez's life. And you stopped Octopus's scheme. You'll catch up with Doc Ock again. Yeah. And as for Mason, put a fork in him. He's done. I'm not going to rest until Dr. Octopus is behind bars. You're so driven, Tiger. You need to focus your attention on something else. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> You're too late. Dr. Octopus's program has destroyed Alvarez's mind. No! There has to be a way! He's gone. It's not your fault. I should have let Dr. Octopus go. If I had, I could have saved Alvarez. And Dr. Octopus could have killed innocent people if you hadn't stopped him. My decision has cost this man his life. And it probably saved the lives of millions. Think about what would have happened if Octopus would have succeeded. Shocker seismic blasts are quick. I'll have to rely on my spider sense to warn me of where they'll strike. Now for the rest of the Sinister Six. Well, what do you know? Shocker really was telling the truth. Excuse me, is there a doctor in the house? You guys look a little tied up. Why don't you spill the beans before I take you back to jail? That turncoat Shocker ruined everything when he betrayed me. And you, you infernal pest! Again, you've ruined me! It was all within my grasp. Destroying your reputation. Launching my virtual reality technology. Subliminally controlling the minds of the public. And controlling City Hall! Whoa, big guy, slow down. You just lost me. You've got big plans. Even for a guy with eight arms. How about starting from the top? What's this factory all about? If you're involved, it can't be just fun and games. To the average person, the V64 is a cutting-edge video game machine. But I have seen to it that the hardware and software can do more than just entertain. I created powerful subliminal programming that can implant messages into the minds of the users. It would have been a phenomena! So you're out to warp the minds of children? That's sick, even for you, Ock. 
The technology I created knows no boundaries. It appeals to everyone. Young, old, male, female, everyone! I've heard a lot of politicians are crooks, but this is ridiculous. What's Mason doing with you? I thought you kidnapped him. <laughs> Mason works for me, you simpleton. <laughs> what? You heard me. Mason is nothing more than one of my puppets. Since when did you take up politics, Doc? Trying to take over the world, not enough for you? Mason was my hand-picked candidate for mayor. My involvement in the election was not just about political power. It was also about destroying you. Mason was able to rouse the public. He persuaded them that you were a villain. He was on his way to victory. I would have held the strings of power had you not interfered. Tell me about Alvarez, Doc. <laughs> Insect fool! Chameleon has been impersonating Chip Alvarez since we kidnapped him. But why kidnap Alvarez? To draw you in so that I could more easily destroy you. We were able to lure you into our trap through your associates, Peter Parker and his lovely wife. Why stage the kidnappings on the movie set? I don't get it. I had planned to pin that crime on you. The sleeping gas was meant to render you unconscious until the police found you and charged you with kidnapping and attempted murder. Rather than simply kill you, I would let you live a long, desperate, pathetic life behind bars. Did you say attempted murder? Since the real Alvarez was the only witness who knew the truth, I decided to destroy his mind. Mason would testify that you kidnapped and terrorized him. He'll swear under oath that he watched you destroy Alvarez's mind, leaving him nothing but a hollow shell. With the publicity from the story, Bob Mason would be a shoe-in to win the election. But Shocker had to betray me, leaving you that note in the sleeping gas chamber. That traitor! I'll take care of him. So Shocker left that note. I can't free him. He's locked to the V-64 unit, and I can't turn the machine off. I'll have to enter the virtual reality environment to try to free him. Why do I have a bad feeling that Octavius has a few surprises waiting for me? I guess I can expect anything in virtual reality. I'm being... I can't free him! saving me from the Sinister Six, Spider-Man. I've always wanted to meet you. I'm a big fan. Without you, I couldn't have done it. If you ever walk one centimeter on the wrong side of the law again, 
I'll see that you get first-class accommodations at the vault for an extended vacation. And so, Spider-Man has saved the day. The Sinister Six's virtual reality scheme has been cracked. Movie director Chip Alvarez has been rescued. And Spider-Man has apprehended the Sinister Six and exposed mayoral candidate Bob Mason as a fraud. My hero. Now that Mason is out of the race for mayor, why don't you run? With that thousand-watt smile, you'd be a shoe-in. I'm an actress, Peter, not a politician. <laughs> Sorry, I thought they were one and the same. Speaking of acting... Why don't you come to this set tomorrow? The real Chip Alvarez would like to meet you. No way. The closest I want to get to the movies is in a theater with a big box of popcorn. Aw, oh, come on. Do it for me? Well, for you, sure. Besides, you've been working too much. You need to focus your attention on something else. Like me. <laughs> this part of the superhero biz ain't so bad.